Hello, my name is Mayhem Star, and welcome back to Find Love or Die Trying. I'm gonna try out new audio uh, settings, so to speak. So let me know, not that anyone's watching, but let me know if you like these settings, because I am quite happy with them. We are going to continue on from our previous playthrough episode, so to speak. Let's go. By the time I got there, Cat and the girls were surrounding a blackboard covered with scribbles and math equations. And that's why Mayhem is the perfect soulmate for each of you. Scarlet, I'm sorry you just drew a bunch of numbers and symbols that don't mean anything. Terra, it's like the bullshit math they show on screen in a movie. Cat, uh, you're late to the party, Mayhem. I wish I wasn't at the party, but I guess I'm here. But you're just in time for the first alone time segment. Can I opt out? Me. Alone time segment. With a question mark. You can't find your soulmate without having a little alone time together. It's time to pick your first soulmate candidate. One of two lovely ladies you'll get to spend time with this week. So without further ado, who's it gonna be? Wait, I have to choose already? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. I haven't even properly I haven't even properly learned who these people are. I haven't even had the chance to really talk with any of them yet. Yeah, there you go. This dude's me. Don't think of it that way. Think of it more like, well, do you want to talk to... Who do you want to talk to? to uh, who do you want to talk to... To the most right... Who do you want to talk to the most right now? To talk to... Well, my English sucks. Alright, I guess. I'd like to spend today's alone time with... Okay, here's the catch. I don't remember anyone's names. But I will roll with Scarlet. Okay, it's that one, the red haired. Okay. Alright, we'll make it happen. Places, people, let's have Mayhem start in the mansion, and you know where to bring Scarlet. The library? Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, I love the brothers. The brothers are so cool. Give us a minute to set up the scene, then go find her. Pardon the mouse clicking, I haven't been able to get rid of it. It didn't take long to find Scarlet. She found me first. She had just burst through, burst through my door and was trying to catch her breath as she slammed it shut behind her. Mayhem, thank god you're okay. Oh my god. Uh, what's going on, Scarlet? Long story short, I experimented with some of the local fauna on the island earlier. There's nothing like it, it's really incredible. And I uh, messed up my intro with you earlier, and... Fauna. Ex okay, okay. Whoa, slow down, yep, yeah, fair point. <sighs> I made a new chemical compound that causes amnesia. Thank you for clarifying that. It's amazing. Wow, that's not something you hear every day. The cool thing is, applying just the right amount to a person can make them forget specific things. Who they are, how to write, anything. The bad thing is... Something slammed into the door outside. I almost jumped up from the surprise. I jumped from the surprise Give me brains and bananas. Oh Shit, can you see my mouse? I just realized I've been clicking in the weird spot. Okay, let me put my mouse over here Applying too much run turns people to rabid monkey zombies hell-bent on eating human brains. Wait Was that one of the? No You used it on four one of the brothers and bananas. Dear god, not the bananas. The door slammed again, it sounded like it was about to be knocked down. We need to get out of here, and fast. Four bursted through the door and blocked our only exit. Give me brains, and bananas. I'll get him out of, uh, out of the way, I'll give you time to run. I've got a better idea, right says Scarlet. Scarlet blasted four with a white powder covering his face entirely. He flailed wildly for a few seconds, then fell to the ground unconscious. Oh. I'm... 
gonna ask uh, methamphetamine pepper spray is he gonna be okay well is he gonna be okay I guess we'll find out for now let's focus on getting out of here and my mouse is in a weird spot again we ran outside the mansion as fast as we could how did this even happen oh I was afraid you'd ask that I heard from Terra that you lost your memories and I I wanted to see if I could help you get them back. Oh, that's sweet. So I uh, may have experimented on the Brothers 5 to see if I could erase their memories and bring them back. That's intuitive. I must have done the numbers wrong. I added way too much. I didn't realize their brains were so empty in the first place. So what is relative? Oh, you poor, poor things. In a weird way, that's really sweet, Scarlet. Thanks, crazy, but still, thanks. I'll fix this, I swear, I just need time to make an antidote. Luckily, I left my tools and supplies pretty near here. We can stay there until we get an antidote. Sounds like a plan, lead the way. Wait, where are the other girls? Do you think they're still inside? Actually, where am I? Where am I, Mayhem Star? I completely forgot to put myself on the screen. Let me go and do that right now. Wait, where are the other girls? Do you think they're still inside? They're actually trapped inside the library right now. Oh shit, we've got to go back and save them. Um, I don't know how to say this, but... I accidentally turned them to zombies too. Ha ha ha. You really have a knack for screwing things up, don't you? But they were a little bit much. But they were a little bit much, so I locked them in the library. Ha ha ha. We're doomed, aren't we? Yeah, no, this is all your fault. Scarlet and I passed the time talking about the craziness that was going on and coming up with a plan to save everybody. She seemed to be quite frazzled, despite seeming to put everything together, but I could tell she really did care about the infected. They're not infected, they're chemically altered. Not even uh, not enough to prevent this from happening in the first place, but enough. Only cares after the fact. Fantastic. I watched her build a machine that she insists can turn them back to normal, but... Looking at it, I can't help but feel a little skeptical. Alright, it's showtime. You really think this will work? You bet. I made it after all. You made it. Does not give me any confidence at all. Looks like the coast is clear here. We walked to the outside of the library undetected, but we definitely weren't alone in here. Alright. It's time to save our friends. Heroic of the Scarlet. Brains. Brains, brains, brains. They're coming right at us. Nothing to worry about. Oh my god. This is payback. This is payback for you guys. Acing your introductions. I'm s I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, nothing. You sure that's gonna cure them? Of course, what does it look like I'm doing? You're, you're bloody murdering them, that's what you're doing. You... Something told me Scarlet was enjoying this a little too much. Oh, uh, what the hell? I take my eyes off the camera for a second and there's zombies in the house. That's Cat, by the way. This whirring is irritating me. I'm gonna need to do a lot of cutting. Not much for, uh, not for much longer, promise. We spent the rest of the day administering the antidote to each person. Each of them knocked out as soon as we delivered the cure. Using machine gun? Not quite the first date you expected, huh? Okay, wait, 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 wait. You knocked them out using a machine gun? And then you killed them. Those look like live ammunition. I'm not gonna question that. You can say that again. It was definitely a first though. Cat told me 
that to make a date exciting I had to get your heart racing. That's not... I don't agree with that. Oh, funnily enough, I did cardio stuff this morning and I fucking died. I'm not supposed to be swearing, but there we go. YouTube. Uh, whatever. I think I did a pretty good job at that. I'm not as caffeinated as I should be. I should be more caffeinated, but I'm not. I'm tired. I guess that's technically true, but aren't there easier ways? Something tells me this woman is full of more surprises. Oh, oh yeah. He's packing a loss under the hood. That brain of hers. I stumbled back to my room and plopped onto my bed. I was just about to close my eyes when I heard a knock at the door. I shuffled over in a haze. Hey there, Mayhem. Sorry to bother you this late. Hello, cat. What do you want? It's alright. What's up, cat? Don't mind me, just gonna make myself feel... Make myself real comfortable. Oh, great. Cat walked by me and comfortably sat herself on my bed. Oh my god, you have no idea how much better your bids are compared to the star. What do you sleep on? You'd think the ones actually working here would, be tr would get treated nicely? I closed the door, then sat facing her on the opposite side of the bed. I'm guessing you're not coming to my room at night to start a worker's... To start a workers' union, you know that'd be pretty pretty good idea. Equal pay, not just equal pay, but fair pay. That's a great great idea. I think the four brothers need it very much. I wonder, what would you want me to come to your room for instead? I can think of a few things. Yeah, I I can too. You'd think five women would be enough for one person. You're in con, incorrigible, in, incorrigible. That's a, what's incorrigible mean? Why have I heard that word before? That's the sound of my phone hitting the desk and the sound of me typing away furiously. What is incorrigible? Ooh. Incapable of being corrected or reformed. Thanks. Thanks, cat. I'm pretty sure I was a reformed individual or a formed individual before I came to this island, and then I became no longer formed, and now you're trying to reform me. No thank you. Anyway, as the producer, I'm obliged to help you survive until the end of the show. Otherwise, there won't be a show. Just until the end of the show, I'm heartbroken. Stick around, cat. Watch me for the rest of my life. Play a full Truman show if you want to, just film me. Make everything up. Being your babysitter doesn't pay well enough to make it a long-term gig. I'll be checking in with you each night to let you know how you're doing and give you some advice here and there. Well, that's nice of you, Cat. Well, to be honest, finding a new person to take your place would be a recruiting nightmare. No, it wouldn't. You would just sneak into someone's house, knock him out with drugs or physically with a baseball bat, and then drag their sorry ass over to this, an uh, over to this island. You know, it's not going to be that hard. Back to the topic, our audiences really loved your date with Scarlet today. Was it when she pulled out the machine gun? I don't know if I'd call what you two had a date, but you two have become quite the popular ship for our viewers. You did put up, uh, put on quite a show, didn't we? We did. No kidding, there's not a person who watched today's broadcast who doubts that she's your first soulmate candidate. That said, let's sprinkle a little more drama into the mix. More romance, more love triangles, less zombies. I quite like the zombie idea, although we're a bit past that. It's no longer the early 2000s. So tomorrow, I want you to find who your other soulmate candidate is and ask them out on a date. Ha, huh, you're forcing me to make a love triangle. Bastard. I'd rather go on a second date with Scarlet tomorrow. Um... I don't know how I feel about this, what would I do? Well, it's just a show, right? And if it's just a show, it wouldn't matter, technically speaking. So theoretically, it would make sense to ask another person now for the sake of variety, for the sake of drama, and then again, my morals say you might as well figure out what Scarlet's doing before saying no to her. Hmm. Well, let's assume that I'm rolling with Scarlet. 
I get that it'd be more dramatic to date someone else, but I'd rather just spend more time with Scarlet tomorrow. She's really unique and I can't wait to get to know her better. I'm surprised to hear you say that considering what happened today. But hey, that's just showbiz. Damn right it is. Respect me, I respect you, and the viewers will love it. Right? In the perfect world, you'd be able to do just that. But if you do that, the show's ratings won't be high enough. And how's that my concern? It is my concern, because... Shut up. Watch. I love you, watch. I love the watch. But come on, not now. How's that my concern? Well, it is my concern, because my livelihood depends on it. In every sense of the word. If the show's ratings aren't high enough, they'll just axe the show before the last day. And it'd be treated as if you didn't end up with anyone at the end, if you catch my drift. Ah. I get why you wouldn't want to, but that's exactly what the last person in your shoes did. And they're not around to tell you about how it went anymore, because they did. Alright, I'll ask somebody else tomorrow. Thanks for forcing this upon me. Can I... Uh, can I at least explain why I have to do this to Scarlet? You already know the answer to that, Mayhem. Yeah, yeah I do. Would, you, would that be good for ratings? Bastard. Anyway, I'll move my mouse away from where it's not supposed to be. That was pure accident. Well, that's pretty much what I needed to tell you before tomorrow. Thanks, Kat. You're so helpful. You are definitely trying to get me with the people I really want to be with. Because that's the point of the show, right? To have uh, someone that you can sail into the sunset with. But not without drama first. It's getting late and we're both got, we've both got big days tomorrow. How about we call it a night? Sounds good to me. If it's worth anything, I'm sorry. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Mayhem. You better be sorry. I end up in the morgue. My ghost will come back and haunt you, cat. Good night, cat. She left my room, closing my door behind her. I went back to laying on my bed and closed my eyes. I kept thinking about Scarlet before I slept. I wouldn't spend too much time thinking about Scarlet. She's a bit nutty. The sound of waves crashing against the shore. Hey. Oh, what the fuck? I don't think I can do this. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't do this. If it's horror, I can't do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have the heart. Oh, God. Is it scary? Oh, fuck, I'll just close my eyes. I'm going to close my eyes. I can hear a woman's voice call out to me within the dream. You probably can't hear me in there, but... I try to respond, but no words come out. Mayhem, promise me one thing. Don't forget. Don't you dare forget. You promised. Promises are unbreakable, right? That's what you told me. You promised. But you lied, didn't you? Episode 2, the second one. Oh, I can't do horror. I wasn't told there was going to be horror. Drama is one thing, man, but if horror pops up, I'm just going to alt tab, man. What happens if I hit home? Oh, fuck. There's no way I can hide. There's nowhere to hide, man. I need something to cover the screen in case I freak out. Damn it. Deep breaths. Anyone else wake up with the world's worst headache? Tara, tell me about it. What did we even do yesterday? You went on a rampage asking for brains and bananas and you acted like absolute gorillas. Primates, your ancestors would be proud. Your great, 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 great ancestors. Honestly, I can't remember. Though I did have a dream that we were being chased by someone. Oh really, and who was that? I think it was Scarlet. 
Oh yeah, definitely. It was happy and nice, and she definitely wasn't rolling around with a massive, massive machine gun. What are the odds of that? I think I dreamt the same thing. As did I. You had a... I think it's that phenomenon where all of you dreamt the same dream. She locked us in the library, then shot us to pieces. Well, that's the same dream I had. Wait. Are they dead? And then they just... Are they real? I, oh, this had better not get meta on me. If this gets meta on me... I'm fucking leaving. What do you think made you dream up all that? Either way, it was just a dream, haha. <laughs> ha. Whenever I pause within the past couple... Uh, minutes is because I'm trying to re rethink what I'm trying to do here. I don't think I have the stomach to play these types of games. <laughs> Whatever it is, if it dares get meta on me, I'm switching shit off. I can't, I can't handle it. You used mean glare. It's super effective. Come now, there's no point getting upset at someone at what they did in the dream. Yui. Hmm, you're right, Violet. And yet. Aha, aha, ha ha. I'm laughing for you, Scarlet. At my expense. I seem to remember you being there too, Vi uh, Mayhem. Oh, man, how am I gonna talk my way out of this one? Some way or another, Scarlet and I managed to convince everybody it was a crazy coincidence. Fair. At least I think we did. Violet was skeptical. Who's Violet? Naturally, she had every right to be. Everything she dreamed really did happen. Let's hope this isn't the kind of dream that comes back again. You piece of shit. It's gonna come back. Something like this is gonna come back. And I am of the belief that everyone's currently dead and Scarlet's the only one who's currently alive. And somehow this is all just a dream within a dream. I hope... I hope that's right, but it's probably not going to be, and it's probably going to be a lot deeper, and then my mind's just going to be blown. Or maybe it's just going to be as shallow as a love story. Alright, here we go. Oh, there you are, Mayhem. I've been looking for you. It's time to decide who your other soulmate candidate. Who's your other soulmate candidate? You remember what we discussed yesterday, right? Oh uh, yeah, how how could I forget? There's no way. It's not like I've ever forgotten anything important before except for, well, everything. That's a very fair point. Save the snort for whichever poor girl you end up seeing today. <laughs> Ow. That stings. Really it doesn't because I think I would take that in my stride and say damn right. It'll be just between your two soulmate candidates from here on out, so choose wisely. You're cutting me up already, wow. Alright. Wait, really? So if we don't get chosen, what are we supposed to do? Well, for starters, we're in a tropical paradise. Think of it as a vacation. Soulmates aren't real anyway, so it's not a big deal. I should say. They're not real? Oh boy, Mayhem, you might want to pick your second soulmate candidate. Quick. Wait a minute, Cat. Will we be splitting up the group after today? Nope, don't worry, you'll still be able to hang out together, and who knows where that will go. Phew, good to know. My battle plans will still come in handy. But you still want to get with me? I mean, friendship plans. Good to know, I still get to see my new friends. Yes, sir. So without further ado, Mayhem, who's the... Unlucky girl, I feel like this is foreshadowing something. This language, unlucky girl, happening again, dream happening again. I'd like you, I'd like to spend some time today with, okay, I am going to save in this empty slot too, right there. I don't like how there's a graveyard. Something feels like this entire background here, the graves. Skulls, it all seems to mean something. To me, anyway.
All right. This girl here, I'm not sure if you can see my cursor, but the one furthest to the right, with the uh, brunette hair, kind of, uh, the light brown hair. I think if she were to go hella yandere on me, that would be really creepy, so I'm not willing to put up with that. Terra seems to be the most uh, mild of them all. And I don't want the yellow one to go insane, and this white one to start having red eyes. So let's go with the Terra. Terra, you play video games, if you're gonna get mad, you're gonna get pissed at the video game, and not me. Alright, our work's cut out for us. Scarlet and Terra. Not a bad choice, I reckon. Give us a minute to set up the scene, then go find her. As I walked closer and closer to the game's room, I could hear people screaming bloody murder. Help. You're not going anywhere. Take him, too young to die. I rushed inside as fast as I could. What kind of brother would sacrifice his own flesh and blood to survive? Life is tough, Buttercup. No. Poor two. I'll save you, bro. War the time, cut. And we're back. Bro. Ah. It's the heroes that die first, you know. Bro. Two for two. Where was I? Oh, right. One down, two to go. Get over here. They were playing a fighting video game. Oh, sup, Mayhem. Give me a second. I've got to do a bit of pest control. Two and three, kill him first. What? Oh, okay. That's a bit close. Alright, alright. You're lost, fair and square. As promised, you guys know what you have to do. The Brothers Five groaned as they each put on some kind of futuristic helmet. I'll praise you. Just in case you go berserk on me later. Incredible Terra. You decimated those guys without breaking a sweat. I do make a living doing this, believe it or not. Though lately, it's been a little boring. No one's watching you. Why's that? It's just same old, same old, you know? Though I do have something new in store if you're down. Why not? Sure, why not? Good. I'm just going to need you to put on this non-suspicious adult headset. Terra picked up the helmet from behind the couch and placed it on my head. This won't hurt a bit, don't worry, is this VR? Or is this AR? Sounds like a potential for a sword art online. Plot line. Uh, wait, why would it... It looks like lightning ran through my head. AR, there we go, sword art online. I'm in some kind of forest. Whoa, Mayhem, you're here too. Where are we? I want to go home. Damn. Oh, stop whining. We're just in a video game. Come on, this isn't the first time you've seen this play uh, this happen in fiction. Of course not. That kind of thing exists now. It's been around for at least a million years by now, get with the times. This game must be in the future. Uh. Last time I checked, I never heard of anything like this. Alright, alright, so maybe it was some kind of weird trick, weird device I'd never seen before. Can you blame me for wanting to try messing with it? So you've never seen it before and it was just kind of dropped off in front of you? Wait, there's no way this could be a game. It looks too real. This game better not, don't, better not mess with me. Don't mess with me. I had to admit, I had my doubts too. Everything looked as if it were really there. Hey, if you want proof, just try walking outside of this forest. Two took a few cautious steps forward, then some more. Oof. He smacked against some kind of invisible wall. There's some kind of invisible wall here. It really is a video game, huh? Actually, that's the wall of the game's room. Okay, so it's just VR. I thought this console would be a deep dive sort of virtual reality video game too, but it seems like everything we do here is replicated in the real world. It's just VR. 
uh, walk too many steps in a certain way and smack. Doesn't that make you feel kind of useless? I guess if you're allergic to fun. The sound of the intercom played through the forest. Hey, can you guys hear me? Cat, we can hear you. What's up? You guys need to log out of that game right now. If you're in the game too long, it'll fry your brain. Hold on a minute. I don't remember putting a screen in front of my eyes frying my brain. Though I do know it'll fry my eyeballs. My iris maybe, but definitely not my brain. What? How? Why? Uh, long story short, it's an experimental, how to say, game console that we had in storage. No idea how Terra found it though. Terra loves video games. I remember when I was young, I used to sneak around at night to try and find our parents' like phones and Nintendos. They'd hide to hide. They had to hide the Nintendos, and eventually they had to hide the iPads and the phones because we would download games on them and we would play on them. We sneak around in the middle of the night, middle of the morning. It was like um. Like a Mission Impossible game, the idea is identify where the Nintendo was, where the phone was, where the game console was, where the game console controllers were, and then as our parents were, say, going out or maybe in the shower or something, we would take their phone and play video games on it. Then we'd sneak it back into its original position, and they would never know nine times out of ten. And the great part about it is we'd figure out where it was figure out where it was and then we return to it for as long as possible to take it play with it put it back take it play with it put it back and of course they try and change the position to where they put the video games and their phones and we always find it you know we got so good at trying to sneak out uh video games that they actually had to sleep on top of the Nintendos, they put the Nintendos in their phones, even their iPads underneath their pillows so that there was no way we could get to it. I'll have you know, us kids, crafty, crafty as all hell. We were able to sneak our hands underneath as they slept in the middle of the night and pulled out the phones and the Nintendos. We were good. We were really good. This show is always trying to find new ways to kill me, isn't it? How much time do we have? Before it fries your brain? I don't know, maybe minutes, maybe several hours. But it'll slowly sap your sanity the longer you're there. Just log out already. We don't know how. The brothers five and I looked around frantically, but there wasn't any way for us to log out. Oh, I don't think you guys can see the log out menu. I think it's an admin only kind of thing. If you can see it, Terra, then come on, log us out already. She cackled like a B-movie maniac. Something tells me that she didn't have much sanity to sap in the first place. Oh god, so she's crazy too. But it'd be such a shame to leave so soon. Let's play a game first. What if she's the Yandere? Fuck. I guess everyone's sort of messed up in the first place, and I guess that's why they invited all of them here into the mansion. To keep them all in one place. It just so happens that as an admin, I can change all your avatars at will. Check this out. Bam. Question mark. I looked down at, uh, to my hands, which had now become tiny little white wings. I looked down at my face. And I have a beak. I became a bird. Oh god, what did she do to us? We're pigeons. Let me out. We'll never become accountants now. You're still on about that. We're gonna die here. I think we've got a five. I think I've got a new fetish. I can't believe I read that seriously. The pigeons five ran around frantically like chickens with their heads cut off. I can't blame them. I looked up to Terra who seemed like a giant compared to us now. Now I'm sure you're wondering why I've turned you all to birds. I guess you could say that. Me to you. That's funny Mayhem. Earlier you told me that this whole show was like a dating sim except that you were in the driving seat. Now the shoe is on the other foot. She cackled again like a wicked bitch. She's a control freak. Oh, she loves to play games. Oh, I see where this is coming together. She's a control freak in the sense that one, either she takes nothing seriously or she takes the idea of life as a game and she wants to just gamify everything and be a dick about it 
Welcome to Pigeon Dating Sim Battle Royale. You better not flash any lights in front of me or I will switch this game off. Don't test me. Do not test me. You'll have to seduce me if you want to get out of here. What, as a pigeon? It's kind of cringe, bro. With each day that passes, I fear more for humanity's future. That's fair. And you want us to be pigeons for this. I mean, yeah, the ratio of human to pigeon visual novels is totally out of whack, man. Um, let's not forget beautiful Hako or something, or Hakaful something. That pigeon dating video game, that's weird. Well, it's not weird, really props to them. At least they won't jump scare me. Maybe I'm just jump scaring myself. I mean, yeah, sure. I figured we should balance that out. I'm trapped in a killer virtual reality game. I am also trapped in a killer dating show. To make matters worse, I am also trapped in the body of a pigeon. Now, I need to seduce a woman with my avian charm. You can imagine the kind of stress I'm under. Now, seduce me. I hate you, Tara. I hate you very much. But then again, it could be worse. I mean, the other three options could be exercise till you die. One of them could be smother you with snooze snooze till you die. And the other one could be make you a, a pig, a servant pig for the rest of your life. I don't know. But I guess this is not so bad. This can't be so bad. One by one, the pigeons five. Fired pickup line after pickup line at Terra, but to no avail. Come on, come on, move those wings like you mean it. I tried my hand at a few too, but it was clear my uh, clear they had no effect. <clears throat> I can't imagine that being a pigeon helped with that in any way. Am I actually losing my voice? Wow. All I did was talk for a little while. I mean, I spoke to some friends before this, but I'm actually losing my voice just by talking. Unbelievable. That just means I don't talk enough. But I think, um, this kind of sound, I wonder if it sounds good through the mic. Um, I'm a bit raspy. Uh, with a deeper kind of bass to it, so let's see if I sound good. Maybe it's a bit hollow. There's no, uh, no timber. No timber. Hmm. Let's try one more. How about... Whoa, damn girl you're who? Damn girl you're looking so fly. And damn girl you're more addicted, more addicting than quack. I like that one. With my will to live at an, with my will to live at an all time low, I... Don't you fucking dare. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm actually closing my eyes IRL right now. The game went dark. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm closing my eye, leaving one eye open, and only reading the text box. Oh, a moment later we're back in the games room. What? But how do we know if this is the real games room, or if this is just a virtual reality game? Is this even real? We're back, thank god. Three. I've got fingers, I can write, I can fill out a balance sheet. Four, just stop. Stop. Oh, just when it was getting good? Wait, is something burning? The game console had smoke coming out of it. Guess it's toast. What, 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 what happened? My mind's all foggy. You okay, Tara? I'm gonna take a nap. She jumped on the couch, and within seconds, she was fast asleep. The brothers five and I decided it would be best to never talk about this again. It's creepy. Mind control? I was about to enter my room when I felt a familiar tap on my shoulder. Cat? It's Cat. Hey there, Mayhem, got a minute? I want to make Scarlet and Terra jealous. It'll be good for ratings. Sorry, what? You're no fun. Anyway. She opened the door to my room and walked inside. I followed suit. I've got some good news. I'm all yours. Says me. You. Whatever. Turns out my strategy worked. We're, we've gotten through. We've got enough ratings to avoid early canning. 
don't get me wrong, people loved it when you said you and Scarlet were the main ship, but now with Terra as some serious competition? Let's just say online threads went from optimistic and united to downright murderous. That's not good. I sure as hell hope you don't use uh, social media as a method of determining whether or not I live or not. Like votes, that type of thing, that's kind of creepy. Sure there's a movie about it, vote as to whether or not someone should do something dangerous. Get more votes, get more famous, get paid more. Well, I'm glad to hear I got to live another day. For now at least, but that'll change quickly if our viewers don't feel like your relationships with both of them are progressing. Cat laughed and took a seat on my bed. You know, I'm curious how you're feeling about Scarlet and Terra. Between those two, do you have a favorite? You bitch. I think, comparatively speaking, Scarlet is a little less insane than Terra. At least Scarlet is a crazy scientist versus Terra, who's a crazy megalomaniac. Megalomaniac. Let me make sure I'm not getting that word wrong. I mean, she could be a control freak, but megalomaniac? What's that? Megalo, megalo, maniac. A mania for greater grandiose performance, an outburst of wildly extravagant commercial megalomania, a delusional mental illness that is marked by feelings of personal omnipotence and grandeur. Is Terra truly like that? By the way, Webster, Merriam Webster Dictionary. I feel safer around Scarlet that I do around Terra. Terra. Terra is willing to lock me in a pigeon of a body or leave me stranded in the middle of a video game that could potentially kill me and not actually save me from either one of those. Scarlet. I think I have a better keep, uh, connection with Scarlet right now. It's amazing how brilliant she is and I can't quite place her. She's fascinating. I had the feeling you'd say that and you're right to say that. Thank you, Kat. Well, we'll see where things go with Scarlet. Something tells me you'll get a chance to hang out with her again tomorrow. Anyway, that's it for today. It might be it for me today as well. I am exhausted. Keep it up and who knows, you might just be the first one to make it out of here. Fuck you, cat. You inspire no confidence. Maybe I should just ask Cat out. Is that an option? Just date Cat. Night mayhem. Good night, cat. She left my room, closing the door behind her. Guess it's time to turn in for the night. Here we go. I see waves crashing vigor soundlessly against the shore and dissolve to nothing before they reach my feet. This must be my dream. She's next to me. I can't make out her face or even hear her voice, but I know it's her. The way the pale moonlight dances in her hair is so nostalgic. You look like you've seen a ghost, Mayhem. You. Somehow I can't see your face, nor hear your voice, but I know it's you. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I hear my own voice speaking, as if it were coming through an old cassette. Are you thinking about what's going on out there now? Ten bucks, it's better on this side. Out there, every day's a fight to stay alive. At least here there's food, shelter, a place to call home, and most importantly, high speed and unlimited internet. I like internet. I reach for her hand and hold it tight. And people that love you. I know, and I love you too. I know how lucky I am to be here, but I still want to see the other side. Why? When you wouldn't survive a day out there, same goes for me. Because it's real. It's real life. What the? Ooh. 
where things happen that aren't planned by some producer, where living isn't just following a script. I'd do anything for just the taste of it. We've been over this. I know. I'm just so tired of this eye. What the hell out? What the hell are we doing here, ma'am? I felt the same way she did, but there's nothing we could do. Nothing if we valued our lives. There's no escaping from here alive. We're living another day. But what are we living for? I sighed. You really want to see the other side that badly? Yes. I laughed. When she had that look in her eye, I knew there was no convincing her otherwise. Even if she had to go alone, she'd see it through. And I loved her for that. I guess you'll owe me ten bucks pretty soon. She laughed. You'll be the judge of that. And that's it from me. My name has been Mayhem Star, is Mayhem Star, and always will be. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.